Well, it's a wet and windy weekend and it's on to the round window or the moon window. So let's see how we do it. The way I'm going to cut out the round window is by using a router. I'll be putting the frame itself on top of some spare plywood that I had. And then I'll be pinning it down using some cutoffs of the plywood. So I'll have two on the inside and two on the outside, one there and one there. So I just screw them down and that prevent the actual frame itself moving as I use the router. So I'm just going to ensure that I've found the centre of the frame. I've just used this uh, stainless steel wire rod. I've bent it to the right diameter and there you go. So, I can, hope you can hear me. Let's try it out. So, what I do now is take it down by five mil increments. So I'm almost at the bottom there as you can see, so I'm going to take it down another 5mm and then another 5mm after that and that should have finished the outside of the window frame. All that I have to do is to readjust the jig to cut the inside of the frame. Now we shouldn't be making rookie mistakes here and by that I mean we don't put the bit on the inside of where the line is, we put it on this side here. If I can just mark it there. Not that side. If you do that then your frame width will be too short. Simple as. So to the sanding.
So the final cut with the router is going to be on the outside of the frame and that will allow the panel to sit just behind here to create a good seal and when I do the inside part of the frame I'll do it identically there so that the panels these here can sit flush right behind that frame so it shouldn't make it look quite neat. So there's a profile now, so you can see the centre ring there, that's where the window will fit. So it's 20mm in width and the depth is around about 15mm, so that should allow a 6mm window to go in, plus putty either side. The outside profile will allow the panel to slip just behind it, like so. Obviously I'll cut it um, arched, just to allow the panel to sit right behind. So that's the first half of the window frame. Um, what I'm going to do on the outside though, is to curve just the inside, just there and there. And I've got a router bit just to do that. There we are then, that's going to be the outside of the window frame and that's a profile. The window will sit in here, okay, and the panelling will fit just there for a nice finish. So that's in a frame all but complete. So the final task is going to be creating a lip just here to fit inside here and that will grip the window and squeeze the cutty too. Now that's 15mm deep, the window is going to be 6mm so I need 2mm at least, call it 3mm of putty either side so that's 6 plus 6 is 12 so this lip needs to be no more than 3mm. So as you can see, I've marked out the width of the lip. So just to reiterate, it's going to be 3mm deep. And that is round about 20mm uh, wide. All we do is screw the frame together. How about that then? So there it is in place. Um, all I need to do now is fit her noggings at the top and bottom, give it a lick of paint and fit the panels. So all I need to do now is just to secure this onto this frame. I've pre-drilled it because I don't want to split the inside edge of the wood and then I'll just screw down to this joint here, into this noggings. There we are with a lick of paint. I shall put on one further coat tomorrow. Uh, we'll just brighten it up just a little bit, but I'm very happy with the colour. It just needs a bit more of a gleam, and I think a third coat will suffice. 
Now the frames for the round window are finished. I'm concentrating on the panelling. As you can see, I've just laid the outside panel. That was easy enough. I just used the router to cut a circle in the middle of the panel. And then just put some panel pins to secure it into place. As you can see, I've routed it just to fit in nicely there. I've tried the frame and it fits in really snug. So what I'll do on that outside one is put some sealant on the panel itself and then get a lick of paint and then seal around where the window frame goes to ensure no uh, weather can get inside there. And that brings us on to the next stage, which is the inside panel. One panel all the way down. I'll make it again, I'll just use the router to cut the circle to fit the frame. Before I do fit it, I'll be filling that full of rock wall exactly like the other walls and that will give a nice insulation. So there's a the panel in place. I put the sealer undercoat on and tomorrow I'll give it a lick of um, China white paint. On the outside that you can't see now I'll put some um, cottage cream and then I'll fit the window, uh, window frame itself. And that's window frame fitted and all that I need now is a glass. So until the next video, I'll see you again.